Improving medical care in rural Missouri communities is the goal of a mobile simulator from the Missouri School of Medicine. It traveled to Sykes and today and Nikki Clark got a look inside. I hurt all over. I want to go home. These mannequins inside the mobile simulation unit are plugged in and ready to teach. You can do anything to a mannequin that you would do to a real patient. They breathe, they talk, Where's Dad? and even move. Simulation coordinator Megan Crane tells me they have a lot to offer. They have uh, vital signs, they have pulses, you can listen to their heart and lung sounds. Um, you can also intubate them. And Thursday, I found them parked outside Missouri Delta Medical Center. Not everybody gets to have the opportunity to uh, utilize all of these tools and resources on a regular basis. The Missouri Hospital Association hosts the training. Carrie Barclay calls it a vital tool for medical professionals. Most uh, nurses and EMS uh, are hands-on people, hands-on learners, and so it really kind of helps bring it all together, and so hopefully that provides much better care to our communities. Barclay says it's helping hospital staff prepare for any incident that could overwhelm their emergency room. The more rural you are, it doesn't take as many patients. The Sim Lab and its realistic patients are a crucial part of the training. It's instead of just, you know, uh, going in and performing the skill, you really get to see how that would interact and impact the, your patient care. Barclay says the goal of the simulator in rural areas is to bring the training to them. I want to make sure that everybody has an opportunity to provide the best and safest care possible for their community. I feel really nauseous. In Sykeston, Nikki Clark, Heartland News. Nurses from all over Southeast Missouri came to participate. Barkley says they hope to hold more trainings with the simulator in the future. This house fire.